Yo, what is up, Smash Bros. Super Nash Bro here, continuing some more Miles and Morales. Uh, last time I just did a bunch of side missions. I don't think I did any of the story missions. Yeah, I was doing all the friendly neighborhood app uh, things on here, and I just finished the last one, or at least the last minor one. Let me check if there's any more. Oh, I've got a gift waiting whoa. For me. This one just opened up. It said Black Lives Matter. Yeah, yeah, I'm interested. Hang on. Let me see what this is, and then... Uh, I think I'll collect some of those, um, sound sample things, but I'll try to, um, I'll try to cut out all the useless stuff and just get to me finding it. Because I at least, I, I don't know if we're going to fight him or not. There's the gift. Yo. Let's see. Greetings from New York. Try to have a Spidey like you. Thanks for having our backs, your friendly neighborhood allies. What's this? We got a new suit. Hey, that's what I like to see. Black Lives Matter. Yes, they do. Yo! It's like our classic suit. Oh, yes. That's such a good shot. Yo, Insomniac, thank you so much, bro. Insomniac really doesn't miss. This is nice. I mean, personally, I like the red better, but man, that was a nice touch. Today, I want to address some rumors making the rounds of the pool halls and sleazy bars. Supposedly, Wilson Fisk has been trying to destabilize Harlem in order to make it cheaper and easier for him to acquire properties. All from behind bars. Now you all know my distaste for conspiracy theories. If there's proof, I will be the first to condemn malfeasance. But until that happens, it is poisonous, irresponsible, and wrong to repeat such baseless and inflammatory claims. That's the kind of behavior I'd expect from someone like Spider-Man, who several people have told me enjoys a destabilized neighborhood himself because it creates more crime and thus more opportunities for him to make himself look good. So, let's be careful what we say and stick to the facts. Okay, people? Miles look like he's had enough. But, uh, I'm gonna ignore that crime for now. Let's see. I'm gonna try to find the rest of these and then uh, get on to the story. This always feels like someone celebrating. Even when it's just telling time. Your dad thought so too. So we had to include it. A sound that tells time. A clock. Okay. Not this way. Tough break at the bridge. Not much else you could do. Okay. Got it. That's it. Ringing on the hour. When I hear those bells, I remember the last time I was here. Your dad had just graduated from the police academy. I didn't go to the ceremony, so I met him here after. Bought us milkshakes. Strawberry for him, peanut butter for me. I don't know why I remember that. He said he couldn't cover for me anymore if I got in trouble. I told him I was done with that life. I was lying, but he believed me for a while. Or at least pretended to. Man, things got complicated between them. Superman impersonator. This plaza and the blocks around it are alive with sound. What you're looking for is light, distinct. Light, huh? Okay. Okay. Wow, that was quick. Yeah, wind chimes. That sounds good. This plaza is where I had my first job. I was fresh out of high school. Then. Didn't have the gear or the mask. God paid me to mug his boss. Rough him up, take everything in his walk. Your dad found out. He stood under those wind chimes yelling at me for an hour. He never told our folks. He made me promise I'd stop stealing. Wish I kept my word. Better. I wish you had too. Maybe you and Dad would have stayed close. And you and I would be okay too.
Times Square. Easy to find someone in the crowd here. Or lose me. Sound you need is like an electric current. A current? I could cheat it with venom. <laughs> nah. I think I just found it. Oh, too close. I think it's back there. I started calling myself a problem. Met my first client right under this sun. Neon flags hard to miss. The crowd makes it easy to blend in. He wanted me to steal a painting. I looked across the square and saw your dad looking back at me. Never said anything. Just turned and left. He didn't know everything. Just that I was the beef. That was me. I think he saw where we were headed. Oh, if he would have tried to act right sooner, he would have forgiven you. I know he would have. Have fun with this one. I had a repeat client I always met here. Got real used to waiting. Listen, hearing this sound running on a tight schedule. A sound on a schedule? Supposed to make a beat out of That's these. Right. Clients I met here used to take the ferry to New Jersey. Work for him was good money. He got busted. He's how your dad found out about the problem. Like it was me, that a thief was making it big in New York, and your dad volunteered for the case. I could feel him closing in. I had to try and guess which would be worse. I told him. I caught me. That'd have been me. I... I don't know what I'd do. That can't be the only reason Dad cut him off. Not if he fessed up. It just wasn't Dad. I think I got like three more. This is a good one. Me and your dad used to hang around here. Listen while the whole station came alive. That's what you need. Something at the station. Too far. So it's this way. Oh, here it is. This better be a nice beat. I think hanging around here is how your dad got the idea to be a cop. I said, man, you're not uptight enough for that job. He wanted to make things better from the inside. Pretty sure he died trying. He did make things better, Dad. And so will I. Alright, two more. Hopefully this won't take up too much time. How did they make this suit? It's like the same materials as our classic suit. Happy holidays, Spider-Man. Have a good one. Happy holidays. This one was all your dad's idea. You need something that's always in this park. Quiet on their own. Loud in a group. Loud in a group? Uh... Hmm. Too far. Oh, birds. How did Dad record this? Huh. I had to look that one up. This was way back. Before high school. We were hanging in the park one day, and someone dropped a hot dog. You know how that goes. 
place was swarming with pigeons. My dad stopped cold. He said, Aaron, man, that's some music. Listen, the next day we were crawling all over Manhattan looking for beats. Like you are now. I remember the first time they showed me how to sample. Uncle Aaron had the ear, and dad had the ear for music. All right, I think this is the last one. Dog, that last one took me a minute to figure out. I didn't even figure it out. I had to look it up. Your mom lived here right after college. You know that? She and your dad were dating. Three of us spent a lot of time here. We got used to this soft, steady beat. Soft beat. Too far. Not that. Too squeaky. Don't think that'll work. Rhythm, rhythm. Good beat. Things were good back then. Felt like they'd be good forever. Your mom got her first gig as a teacher. Your dad was new to being a cop, and I just started calling myself a prop. I figured we all kept secrets about our jobs. But last week, your dad's job and mine crossed paths. You and Uncle Aaron, if you would have been anything else, my mom and dad would have supported you all the way. Hey, young blood, you got almost everything you need for the trap. You just unlock the spot where you can find the last piece. Or if it works for you. Oh, yeah? I don't know. After everything with Krieger, it's fine. I'll keep my guard up. All right, let's go see what it is. Hey, oh, are you serious? I was thinking, and it's totally cool to say no. How would you feel about coming on my show? Uh, I mean, I don't really do publicity. Secret identity, that whole thing. Right, totally. No pressure. I just think people would like to hear from the new guy, you know? I don't know what I'd say. I'm just kind of doing my best, you know? <laughs> yeah, I think that's true for everybody, but your best includes dodging bullets and running up skyscrapers. Hmm. Maybe when I'm on summer break and have more time? I mean, uh, when I take vacation from work, from my job, yeah. Anyway, if I was going to go on any podcast, it'd be yours. That is the best compliment I've gotten all week. <laughs> Maybe ever. <laughs> okay, well, um, just let me know when your summer break rolls around. Bye. Okay. <laughs> She's such a nerd. Sorry, I had water in my mouth. Happy holidays, all right. Man in subway tunnels. Guess a good thief needs a good hideout. Whoa. So this is where he does all this all his stuff. Huh? Maybe I should take a few swings. Nah, I'd probably break it. Man. Train. What's this? Made you something should keep you safe. Use the sounds of the city. Use the sounds. Oh, whoa. That was kind of <laughs> something new every day. That was kind of lame, but oh well. Got a new suit out of it. Okay. Hope the suit fits. Ooh. 
You asked why me and your dad stopped talking. He was investigating the Prowler. It led him to my clients, people like Simon Krieger, Wilson Fisk. Yo. Dad couldn't afford to make enemies like that. Not with you and Rio in the picture. So I told him. Hoped he'd back off, and he did. For good. He didn't want me around. Didn't want you to turn out like me. Hope this suit helps you be better. Take care, Spider-Man. Thank you, Uncle Aaron. For everything. This suit is kind of nice. He used to come to our place for dinner all the time. Guess he never learned to cook. He was always way better at guitar than me. Oh yeah, this is where he mixes his beats. Sampler? Vintage. Oh, has to be him and dad's equipment. What else is here? Uncle Aaron's got tabs all over the city. Jeez. He must have been building his network for years. How do you think he's got so many clients? He's probably killed a bunch of people too. Always making upgrades. I definitely got my suit patching skills from Uncle Aaron. Huh. That's pretty cool. I'm glad I did that and I got a new suit out of it. Let me see, what else do I have? Is there anything else I can unlock? Just two more. Finish the campaign and the cat's pajamas, and then that's New Game Plus. So other than that, I have all of the suits. Venom Overclock. See, Venom Power generates, generation increases health drops. Huh. Let me see. Uh, sure. But uh, let's change suits. Do I want to keep the Black Lives Matter one on, or do I want to? Do I want to put this one on? Let's put this one on. This looks really nice. Okay, main story time. That took quite a while to collect them all, but I wanted to share them all on camera. Sorry, I got stuff to do because we're almost done. Is that where you do the training thing again? Three five Vulture. No. Aw, oh, Uncle Aaron. That was you, wasn't it? I just got all your beats and stuff. Bro, I got the suit on too. Sorry about this, nephew. That's how it is. Are you doing this to protect me or are you doing it for money? Can't let you go back out there. Ooh. Let Krieger and the Tinkerer kill each other. Go back to being Spider-Man when the heat dies down. And what? Just hide down here? I don't get to pick and choose when I'm Spider-Man. I gotta stop Finn. No, you gotta survive. I've been trying to teach you that, but you don't listen. You want me to survive so bad? Why sell me out to Krieger? wasn't a sellout yeah i'm serious you were never supposed to get caught krieger broke our deal you want it back in the family and that's the best you could do i saved your life you threw me in a cell to protect you like this is protecting me damn it miles i'm not gonna lose you too and i'm not gonna let people die just to save my skin you underestimated me. Wow. Ooh. Yeah, threw him too. I'm playing around, Uncle. Know. Come on. Don't point Psych. me on this. I don't oh. want to. Uh, but I can't stay down let's go. here. Then I'll do what I have to. Keep you uh, safe. Oh, snap. Whoa, 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 whoa. I tried to dodge that. I need to sort it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah. It's about you. You're afraid. Don't you turn this on me. Come here. Bop. It's like. You can't counter every trick. When are you going to understand that I have to fight for this city? Oh, I wanted to hear their conversation. You don't realize I'm the only one trying to save you. And I'm trying to save everyone else. 
Loves his nephew a little too much. I didn't want us to fight, but I knew it was gonna happen. You got the costume on and everything. Whoa, got the Kamehameha. Whoa. I What the You got tricked. Oh Rock god. Didn't your mentor teach you about picking your battles? You taught me to put other people ahead of myself. Come here. Sorry, Uncle. I I tried to throw that at you. You don't get how the real world works. Dog eat dog. Not if we make it better. Okay, okay, okay. Just gotta dodge it as soon as I. Ooh. I gotta stay away from those things. Back, nephew. Yo, my reactions get. have to be like instant. Maybe that's why I'm still alive. All right, Benny. Ooh, it's fast. It's almost like he's teleporting. What are you all this thing, huh? Protection. Throw yourself at enemies you can't beat. Know who else did that? Don't say his name. Jefferson. You want your mom to bury you too? I won't let you. Oh my god. Oh, he got the shadow goons. Okay, I got that too. I got that too. Let's go. You can't keep up. Jesus. Kid looking up to Spike Man. No, I'm the kid who knows people are looking up to me. All right, let's go. Yeah. You don't like being teamed up on, do you? You were never gonna accept me as Spider Man. The risk I gotta take. You. You're right. I'm done letting my family die trying to play hero. The hologram's got my back. How far will you take? You gonna kill yourself proving you deserve that man? If that's what it takes. Well, you're the real one. Oh, I can't waste my. Oh. That wasn't the real one. Dang it. I was gonna say, I can't waste my time. I'll do what I have to. Oh. Are you the real one? No. Let's go. Stop. Whew, man. That was a good boss fight. Nah, I don't try to play the Green Goblin go. thing. We're family. Family? That didn't stop you from lying to me, manipulating me, fighting me. Being family isn't enough anymore. It doesn't have to be like this. You, me, hating each other? That's how it happened between me and your dad. I don't want to repeat that. I don't either. But I can't be the person you want to turn me into. I can't turn my back when people need me. I have to be better than that. Man. That was awesome. Genki, my uncle just kidnapped me. Locked me up. What? Dude, are you okay? I had to fight him. Then I said, I, I told him, we're done. For good. I'm sorry. That's... That can't have been easy. It's what I had to do. I'm headed to the Science Center. Call me if things get bad in Harlem. I will. Good luck, Spider-Man. You know, the fact that I wore the suit, like, immediately before it happened, just made it all the better. I'm glad I found those, uh, samples. What we got over here, man. 
I mean, Aaron's not a bad guy. He just wants to protect his family, you know? Well, wait, this is my last chance. Uh, oh. Hey, all. This cast could get a little maudlin, so um, instead I'm going to phrase it as a call to action. Things are bad in Harlem. The underground rocks on the tinkerer. It's, it's all coming to a head with a neighborhood caught in the middle. City Council candidate Rio Morales is organizing a full evacuation to the Bronx. So please, if you're outside Harlem and can offer a room, a bed, a couch, anything, you could save a life. I know you're afraid. I am too. But this is our time to come together as a community. We are strong enough to survive this. Today's advice is to hold your loved ones close. Goodbye, friends, and good luck. Oh, man. Uh, I didn't think we were at the end already. I mean, I heard it was a short game, but um, I'm perfectly fine with that. So I'm going to end off the episode right here. And next time, I'm pretty sure we're going to finish it off. So, man. App says someone's trying to steal from a feast truck. Yo, be quiet. Really? trying to do my outro so anyway if you guys did make it to the end of this episode be sure to like comment and subscribe as it does help out the channel tremendously and be sure to share it with your friends so with that being said i thank you guys so much for watching i will see you all next time